Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing the Sondor's e-bike. That's my dog, Samantha. Uh, Sondor's e-bike. It's a giant package, uh, so we're in the living room. Got a way overkill knife, but I mean... Bruce Blades. Bruce Blades? Bruce Blades? Oh yeah. So this box is like five feet long and like, I don't know, it's pretty tall. So it's a big box. Right when you open up the box, you're gonna see the giant, super, super thick wheels, which I think are actually pretty cool. All terrain. Of course, there's going to be some assembly required. We got... What is that? Seat. Oh, the seat, of course. A box. Which wall open. It's a large... I think I've heard the bike's about 50 pounds. This is going to be an entry level e-bike if you want to get into this. I know nothing about these. I mean, I've thought they're cool, but... You can see they did a great job uh, packaging. They definitely took their time and did it right. All the places that could get scratched, they actually bubble wrapped or wrapped foam around them and cardboard. So this is not going to get damaged in shipping. Right here's the battery compartment. So that's nice, kind of like protected. It says Sundor's right on it. You have super, 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 super thick. I mean, I don't think this camera does justice how thick these. I mean, I have big hands. This is like what five inches. It's a big tire, so I think that'll make it much easier to ride. I looked around a bit and I figured out that this thing takes 90 minutes to charge. And on the website Indiegogo Only or Kickstarter, it can go 50 miles on a charge for f however much it costs you can look I'll have a link to it in the description it probably will change by the time you get to see this video I mean it's a pretty impressive bike uh, this is the one of the first ones uh, it was ordered towards the beginning of the year handlebars it has a pretty basic thumb throttle on it with the uh, how the levels of the battery, low or full, half, and empty. As I already mentioned, the bike is 50 pounds, but you can pedal. So if it does run out of battery, you will be able to pedal it, which, and you'll also be able to pedal with the battery. So you'll accelerate faster if you pedal, and you can go faster too. Yeah. Uh, so the quality, it actually feels pretty well for the price of the bike. I've seen other bikes that are similar to this motorized that are in the thousands range. Inside of the box, you get is the battery. Uh, I already mentioned it goes 50 miles on a charge, which is what they say. 
Oh, there we go. There's a little rubber piece that you pull out, and then you'll be able to plug it in. So. All right. So one thing that people didn't know is which way the neck goes. So that's where the neck goes, and which way the disc brake goes on. And so if you see down here, there's a little disc brake thingamajigger. I so that probably means that that disc brake goes towards that. And if you look over here, there's my dog. Uh, the disc brake is on the left side of the bike if you were sitting on it. So same with that. One thing to mention is we do live in Los Angeles. So this bike got here quicker than other people because it just came off the boat and well Los Angeles is near the ocean so yeah that basically speaks for itself if you have a small house like us near the beach you're probably gonna have a smaller house uh, you can just put this right in your living room. I mean, that's the best place for it. It looks the best in your living room, and it actually makes your living room pop. So when people walk in, they're going to be like, oh, what's that? Oh, just like an e-bike. So it's a great place for it. You can just put it right in the middle of your living room. People have to walk around it just to get to the TV. It's perfect. So... The pedals just screw right onto the bike, so they're very simple to install. They have those orange reflectors. Everything on the bike is very lightweight, which is a good thing on an electric bike. They definitely went all out on trying to keep the bike as light as possible with the plastic thing if that was metal, it would weigh a lot more. And the plastic, high quality, yet light pedals. The bike, I just tried lifting it up, and I'm not a strong person, and it's super light. And right here is the battery compartment. Keys, Yavis. Oh, it has keys. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like a car. Um, and the battery takes up mm, a fair bit of that. So you will be able to hold something small in there. I don't know if I'd recommend it, because the battery might get hot. Okay. Because <laughs> the battery might get hot, and that's Bruce and Blade's knife. They make limited edition knives. I'm not sponsored by them, but they're pretty cool. I mean, Bruce Blades. Bam, right there. I mean, that's just a wild knife. You can get it at BruceBlades.com. Hashtag awesome. All right, so right here, you can plug in the key to start it up. I mean, what are you starting up? To get the battery in and out. So if you park this, Nobody will steal your battery because they'll have to use keys. So if you're going somewhere populated and you're going to park this bike, please do not do that. I mean, somebody's going to steal this. It's shiny. It looks cool. Uh, and yeah. somebody could just grab the bike and if they really wanted, even if it was locked, they could cut that lock. But if they were in a public place, somebody would see them and probably ask them why they're doing that. But just don't put this in a public place. Okay, so you tighten up the wheels if those are loose then they might fall off when you're riding and that would be hilarious. It wouldn't be good. It has disc brakes, so that's gonna be a very good brake compared to my super funny BMX bike that I have that actually has something that clamps onto the wheel to stop it. So you're getting, again, higher quality. So this bike is definitely worth the money when it comes to e-bikes. Here's a kickstand for the bike. This was already installed, so you want me to install it, even though it would be very simple to install this. So you can hold your bike up, which is actually very handy. And if you don't have one of those, like me, you're gonna be like dropping your bike. So of course you're gonna want one of those, and it's nice to stay included, so you don't have to go out and buy one. All right, just lifted up the bike, and I'm surprised with how light it is, but it also doesn't have that battery in it, but the battery I just lifted up is also very light. Just lithium ions. 